Alrighty guys, now let's review divestitures. It could be a partial or a full disposal of a component of a larger company, a business unit, a product line, whatever it may be. So remember, your options on the exam for a divestiture, a sell-off, a spin-off, or an equity carve-out. Before we go through the divestiture box, let's just remember some key points right up front. front. Folks, with a sell-off, Okay, we're thinking there's no potential. It's underperforming. Let's just get rid of it. I want nothing more to do with it. We just want to focus in on the core. And remember, by selling it off, it's going to generate cash. All right, so an outright sale of that subsidiary, we want to focus in on our core. We want nothing more to do with this business, lack of synergy, and we want to get some cash. Okay, spin off, guys. One of the things I think of immediately, there's still some potential. All right, so we're going to spin it off. Now remember, because we think there's some potential, we're not so worried about getting cash right away. No cash. Okay, no cash in, and this is not going to be a public company. But we have a new independent company. All right, we're going to separate it from the parent. Now, this new entity, how are we going to create it? So we can distribute stock in the new entity as a stock dividend to existing shareholders. Or we can offer shareholders stock in the new company in exchange for their stock in the parent company, whatever. All right, but typically when do spinoffs occur? It's less profitable, unrelated to the core competencies of the parent. But we think it's going to have more value separate and apart from us versus being a part of the larger operation. But we think there's some potential. So we want to have some ownership stake in this company via stock. We're not looking to cash out with the spinoff. Okay, guys, if we think there's a lot of value, equity carve-out. Okay, equity carve-out, we get two things. Number one, we get some cash in. And we're going to have a controlling interest in an IPO. So with the equity carve-out, we think there's a lot of value. We're going to be able to get a cash inflow, but we're also going to maintain a controlling interest through an IPO. All right, so that subsidiary we think has so much value, we're going to make it public through that IPO. All right, so the sale of the shares in the new company generates cash for the parent, good, and the parent's going to keep a controlling interest in that subsidiary. All righty, now let's look at the detail here in our divestiture box. All righty, so a couple things. Let's start with the sell off, <clears throat> the scissors. You got to look at this. Okay, with that sell-off, no potential, it's underperforming. Okay, represent the releasing of the subsidiary from control of the parent, all right, to somebody else. We sell it off. All right, the good news is we get some cash. A spin-off, there's no cash inflow, a release of the subsidiary from the parent, but this time, notice, there's no cash going back to the parent. All right, the equity carve-out, okay, where there's a lot of value here, Take a look with the equity carve out. We're going to get some cash, but we also have control. That's why we have the chain, okay? So we have the control, the chain, plus the cash. All right, and now some rationales. You ready? A common functional reason for that divestiture in the first place, look for a lack of synergy between the parent and the subsidiary. Okay, a common financial reason for that divestiture is increasing the value of the parent as well as that subsidiary but independent of one another. We're saying they're worth less when they are together. They're worth more when they're apart. Kind of sounds like a divorce. <laughs> no comment. <clears throat> the rationale behind which method though specifically you want to use, well that's driven by number one, are you looking for cash? And number two, do you want management control? Okay, do you think there's some value? If you think there's lots of value, equity carve out. Little bit of value, the spin off, no value at all. Let's just get rid of it and sell it off. Okay, now guys, the cash impact. Easy multiple choice on the exam. The cash is coming only under two circumstances. A sell it off, we get cash. And an equity carve out, we get some cash. Remember, the spin off, no cash at all. Okay, no cash in with that spinoff. Stock impact. New shares are created for the subsidiary when we have both a spinoff and an equity carve-out. Remember, 
If there's no value, just dump it. Why would I want to keep your stock, right? Sell off. If we think there's value, well, then even a spin-off or the equity carve-out. Little bit of value, spin-off, a lot of value, equity carve-out, right? So the sell-off, okay, there's no new shares. We're just getting rid of it, all righty? So we just get rid of it. So with that sell-off, we don't even want to keep any interest in here. Let's just cash out so we could focus in on our core. We think it was underperforming. Let's just dump it. All right, remember, the only place we're going to have control and where we want to have control is where we think there's going to be a lot of value. Where do we think there's going to be a lot of value? Obviously, the equity carve-out. Okay, so control is only maintained with the equity carve-out. All right, there's no management control. When we sell it off, we have no interest whatsoever or the spinoff. Okay, excellent review, guys. Let's jump in now. Let's move on.